It's been a good number of years since Weldon Dunn first walked out of the machine shop in Hoskins and called aboard a Valley and Slats railroad work train. 38 years, give or take a few months. Over those years, there have been a good number of changes. One of them being, Weldon Dunn is no longer a laborer on the track crew. He's now superintendent of the line. But that doesn't stop everyone who knows him from calling him by his nickname, Tyke. His railroad, a part of the Boise Cascade Corporation, has run from Independence in the valley to Valsets in the coast range. Over the years, it's hauled people and freight supplies, but mostly logs and lumber. No more. The railroad has been allowed to discontinue service to Valsets, and in June, crews will begin the job of pulling up the tracks, working their way out of the mountains. And if Tyke Dunn thinks of the past while he plans for the teardown, it's only natural. Sting to the diesel is one of them. It was a lot harder to work. These diesels are about like running a car or something compared to them, you know. They served their purpose. His father worked on the railroad before him, so maybe it was natural Tyke just followed suit. I don't know what else was going to do. I guess I just grew up around here and liked it. Come back after the service, why well, that? I went back to work here and I just stayed right with it. There was always something different every day happening. Maybe a derailment or a tree fell over, a rock slid down or something. There used to be a lot of little mills that I was telling you about up the line and they're gone. And they mostly change is what's really seemed different to me. Of course, like you say, all these communities out here used to be a lot of people around them. You know, they had all the sawmills, and that's what really made this railroad go. But that was a number of years ago. The little mills are gone, and Tyke Dunn is realistic about the change and the demise of the line to Valsets. You stop and think about it, there hasn't been that much business up this canyon for a good many years, since the middle 50s. Money. Life is dictated by money. That's why the tracks lie neglected. That's why, within the month, crews will begin to remove the rails and ties. That's why, within a few years, this line of this railroad will be remembered by only a few old-timers. Frey Summers at large, along the Valley and Silette's Railroad. Mm -hmm.